Hello everybody, it's Solitario here, and today I'm going to teach you how to port a map from the Source Engine, um, or the Source 2 Engine, or Gold Source even, um, to Bone Lab. Um, normally, you would use a, tor uh, excuse me, a tool called USource, and USource is for really big map projects like, you know, RP Asheville, or like, something like that, like that is probably the better tool to use. Um, but if you're just a level designer that works better in Hamel for ha excuse me, Hammer for designing and better at detailing in Unity, this is a wonderful tool to use. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So first thing you're gonna need is a plugin for Blender. I will link a link in the description to a tutorial that I use to install this plugin. It is called Source.io. And it allows you to import source asset, asset, excuse me, assets. So you can import stuff like uh, maps, models, textures, skyboxes, materials. You can all see them right here. This is, goes for gold source and source 2 as well. We're just going to be covering source today. So today we're going to cover, you know, source maps. So... <laughs> Alright, so once you are in your maps folder, you're going to want to select the map that you're going to want. Mine is this right here. Um, ignore the other very obvious test maps. <laughs> so um, we're going to hit import source BSP file. Let's give it just a moment. Um, this may take just a little bit of a second, but it shouldn't take long, especially if you got like a lot of physics props or decals in your map. It will take just a second. And right about now. All right, there we go. So now that you have your map, um, I put mine in a box in the source engine because it prevented leaks. Um, tip for people who do that. But um, this is the entire map. But you might notice something. Um, one, all the decals are missing. Um, and two, all the textures are missing. So um, it's a little difficult because you don't want to look at this when you're in Bob Lab. Excuse me. Um, so you're going to go up to this tab called Texture Paint. You're going to click on it. And see, there are all your textures. Um, there's Your decals are also in there. Um, I'm not entirely worried about decals, specifically like physics props and things are like, like that's not really my thing, but all your textures should show up here. Some of them are going to look a little weird in the editor. Um, they're not going to look quite right. Um, this is fine. Okay, it, it's going to look weird in some areas in editor, it is not gonna look weird in game. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll out. Um, just leave all this here for now. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go File, and you're gonna wanna go to Export, and then FBX. Do not hit Export FBX just yet. We're gonna go to my Downloads real fast. And we're gonna go, just name it, um, let's just call it Brunless, because that's the name of the map, is Brunless Facility. Facility with no brim, but path mode. You're gonna want to go except not auto, but you're gonna want to go to copy right here, and you're gonna want to click this little icon called embed textures. Um, this will bake the textures into the map, so you don't have to go around like creating a texture map of any kind. This is just like so that you can actually see what's going on in your map. Um, so you got a thing. Um, don't change any other objects. Some people just hit selected objects, visible objects, especially if you know Blender. Um, I don't know Blender, <laughs> uh, not very well, so um, for people who just want to design something in the Source Engine and get into Bone Lab, leave all this the same as I put it. You're going to want to go to Export FBX, and if we go to my downloads right here, you can see you got the file right here. If we view it in a 3D viewing app, it will be the full model um, with all of its textures. Um, it gets a little weird, funky sometimes. It looks like I had a bad export. Usually this doesn't happen, but it's was it's weird. It will look normal with yours, most likely. Um, I wouldn't worry about it if it looks like this. Um, then I would move the map files from any external drive, you might have pulled it off. If you pulled it off an external drive to your main drive, this is what I think is happening here, but we're going to ignore it because I'm lazy. Um, and I've tried recording this tutorial three times. So we're going to go over to here, and we're going to hit 
quit um, because we do not need to be in Blender anymore. And now we're going to open our Unity project. All right, so I have my Unity project open right here. Um, just ignore everything that you see on the side here. This is actually a live project in an empty scene. Um, this is just to demonstrate because importing all the marrow things and it, it just takes a million years. So what you're going to want to do right now, okay? You have the full marrow SDK installed. Um, I'm on the Android build, build platform, excuse me, so it's going to look weird when I pull it in here, but what you're going to want to do, this is a clean rip. I went back and fixed it. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click this. You're going to want to get your model. First, you're going to want to drag it into your assets folder, and then let go. There you go. So that is your model. This is your model. The preview won't load for a second. There we go. Um, and then you're going to want to drag it into your world, just like that. Okay, so that is your entire map. Uh, you're going to want to go over here. You're going to want to right-click it, and you're going to want to go to Prefab, and then Unpack Completely if you want to you know, export it. Um, now, quick thing about lights, uh, about a couple of things about how this map was exported. So as you, if you look closely, you know, the textures are there. Um, it looks a little weird on my end. Maybe it's because it's Windows 11. I don't know. It looks completely fine when I export it, except for a couple things. So um, your first problem, info decal, all of these, these are all of your decals, okay? Normally, they're fine, um, but in some cases, like here, here um, and here, um, they're not actually transparent textures. Um, so there's two ways to solve this. One is you could, yeah, and they also generate facing all one way. So there's two ways you could fix this. One, you could just delete all the decals from your map um, because honestly, this saves on performance. It like makes the export a little lower. Um, your second option is to get your like get, delete them or rotate or rotate scale whatever put them back where they're supposed to go and set them transparent based on color i don't do that you guys can not my not my map but um thing here okay second thing lights okay lights especially in when porting from source to marrow um, it gets super bright because the intensity value on the default lights is um, a little high, if you can see, um, about 2,000, which is far brighter than um, legitimately necessary. Even like lights that are supposed to be dark um, just absolutely fill the hallways of light. Um, it is a very, very, very good idea to turn these down. I'm not going to modify any of my lights because, honestly, like, I'm lazy, but... It is very, very important that you turn down some of these light values because they are way brighter in Unity than they are in the Hammer Editor or Source or whatever. All right, second thing, um, static props and physics props. So as far as props, um, they disappear on export, on, um, on import. So if you look over here, there's the spotlight that goes with it, but not the light model. Um, if your map doesn't have um, a lot of static objects, you can pro or uh, then you can probably just delete all of those. There's a Half-Life 2 um, or just source model pack um, or like model resource. But if your scene has an absolutely atrocious amount of static props or physics props, um, you are going to want to get those with USource. That is what you use USource for. This is just for basic level design. Um, but one more thing. Um, so this, this is all the world geometry. So if I deleted all of this, okay, that's all the lights, all the decals, okay, you're still going to have the world geometry. This one thing is what you want for as far as like geometry. So, right now, doesn't have colliders, so you don't want to scroll down through all these textures. I want to hit Add Component, and I want to go to Physics. You're going to want to hit Mesh Collider. Now, I know that there are some experienced Bone Lab modders, unlike myself. Like, I'm nowhere near experienced, but I'm sure there's somebody yelling at me, being like, no, you can't use Mesh Colliders. Quest makes it slower. 
it's actually not that bad, okay? I can send a video, it really runs fantastic, um, but I suggest only using this for world geometry. Everything else I'd use, like, box collider or just, like, get, like, a spawnable place or something like that. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's really not that bad. People will tell you, oh, don't use mesh colliders on maps because it makes shit laggy. It really doesn't. Like, may, like, okay, if it's really big, yeah, but, like, for small maps like this, like, it's really not that bad. Um, but, yeah, pretty much covered everything. Water doesn't work. Um, you can't remove it. I recommend, um, there's a shader by Carry On and On, um, that is, vault, like, kind of, it adds wavy water, like, swimmable water almost. I would check that out on the Discord. Um... But yeah, that's how you port level geometry from source into Bone Lab. Um, you can just build this as a map and then export it, and it should work just fine. All right, well, thank you all for checking me out. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below. I'll probably be active in that specific comment section a lot, <laughs> at least in the coming, um, the coming hours when people ask me why I am stupid. Um, so there you go. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.